What is going on everyone? Today's video is actually going to be a little bit different. It's going to be utilizing a Magic the Gathering tool for non-Magic the Gathering purposes. Um, for anyone out there who doesn't know, um, there's a lot of different TCGs that don't have Magic Set Editor expansions, such as Dragon Ball Z's Panini game, or what have you. And a lot of folks have problems printing uh, proxies for them, or cards from like uh, the Fan Z expansions, like sets 8, 9, and 10. And I was having this issue earlier today, and then it dawned on me, I can use Magic Set Editor in a weird kind of way to start making these types of proxies and print them out. Because Magic Set Editor allows you to print the cards to the exact size you need, and then you just cut them out from there. So how do we use Magic Set Editor to make non-Magic the Gathering cards? Well, let's go ahead and show you. Uh, click on New Set. And over here, there's going to be an option called Full Art under the regular Magic the Gathering tab. So... So you go all the way over to the right hand side or almost all the way over to the right hand side and you'll see full art so go ahead and double click that and then it's going to open here you are going to have this annoying little illustrated by thing that you can't get rid of um, i've tried everything that i know i just can't get rid of it but you'll see we have a black border with nothing going on so double click to load an image and let's say we want to do uh, king Hold, uh, no, let's go ahead and uh, let's get Blue Resourceful Mastery. So let's say you wanted to do Blue Resourceful. Now, because we already have the black border, we want to be very careful to get rid of as much as this one as we can. So just go ahead and use the um, tool to try to trim off as much of that black border as we can. We're not going to be able to get all of it off, but we're going to be able to get most of it. And it'll blend with the actual black border that's shown anyways. So, click OK. And now notice we have a pretty convincing looking uh, Blue Resourceful Mastery uh, style proxy here. And again, you know, you can change the border like with anything else, but um, I haven't found a way to get rid of that annoying illustrated by bit. You can just sharpen that when you print it out, I guess. But yeah, I'll show you one more time. It's really, really simple, and I can't believe I didn't think about it before. Um... We used a Boris Sword Slash this time. So, I always just zoom in as much as I can so I can get as much control over what I'm doing as humanly possible. So, go ahead and get in there and use the tool to trim off as much of that black border as humanly possible. And that should do just fine. And then, yeah. Then you'll just come over here to File and click Print. You can custom select which ones you want to print. Um, now you can't actually name them this way, so I had to remember which one was number one, which was number two. Although I imagine most time you'll be printing the entire set. And yeah, that's how you use Magic Set Editor to print non-Magic the Gathering type cards. In this case, uh, Dragon Ball Z. And I'm sure that this would work for, obviously this would work for any other uh, card game out there that has black borders. Now for high-tech stuff, it's a little bit trickier because obviously... I haven't found a way to get rid of those black borders yet. If someone knows how to, please let me know. But if you wanted to do a high-tech card, you're kind of just out of luck at that point. So, going down here, looking at the Fanzy Level uh, 1 Android 17, there's no way to print it without having a border. So, if you're okay with a border on your high-tech cards, or your high-tech style cards, this will still work. You can absolutely still do it. It just won't look as nice as some of the other ones do. I guess you could just print it with a white border in order to kind of blend with everything at that point. You just cut off where you want it. I don't know. But yeah, that is how you use Magic Set Editor for non-Magic stuff. Kind of fun. For anyone out there who plays the Panini DBZ game, this is a great way to print your fanzy proxies. And even proxies of cards you just can't afford. Maybe you have some shears that you need to put in the deck that you can't afford. Well, um, you can use the same method to add those in here and then print them out and just play test away. So this is great for DBZ and for the Final Fantasy TCG and anything else where you just need cards to play test, can't afford certain things, or they just don't outright don't make um, professional quality proxies for the, for the game. Um, so I've done enough rambling here. Um, I'll put a link in the description where you can download Magic Set Editor. And uh, the, they, there might be one down there for the different templates you can download for it as well. Um, it's pretty easy to navigate the site, but... Definitely a mainstay tool, in my opinion, now for all fan Z players and Panini Z players because it just allows us to 
um, get exact size proxy prints what we didn't have them before. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it helpful. And I'll see you next time, hopefully, with some gameplay videos. I'm thinking Orange Retribution Supreme Kai versus Namekian Knowledge Piccolo. Could be fun. See you later.